When they name a building after you, it means you've either given a great deal of money or you've invested of yourself. This story is about the latter. Philip, you're doing well except your head moves. You gotta, can't let your head move. When you put the hand in, the head's swinging way over there. Keep the head up. His name is Art Downey, and the reason they named the building after him is simple. First of all, congratulations on two great meets, Friday and Saturday. You swam very hard Friday, gave it everything you had, chased as many people as you could, and I was very pleased with that. He's been doing this for 60 years. That's really good, really good. When, when you put your arms out straight, look at the bottom for a second or so and, and uh, glide just a little bit, okay? Coaching the swimming team at Edina High School. Art is just an incredible man, first of all, and he expects his swimmers to grow into be exceptional men. And so sportsmanship and creating gentlemen is his first goal. And the swimming comes along after that. He's a hands-on coach. He is positive with the kids, but he also coaches. That is the nutshell of a job he started out of college and never quit. I kind of downplay the 60-year the bit because I figure any, anybody my age has been doing something for 60 years. But I, I just stayed in the same place, did the same thing. Most people move around a little bit. I, okay, put the uh, cord around your neck, then pull down. It might not seem like 60 years because he can remember it all like it was yesterday. If you ask him about your race, then he'll quote someone from like, I asked him about my 100 fly the other day, and he was telling me about someone 45 years ago who split it similarly to me. And um, so it's like stuff like that where you can really tell that um, he like puts all his energy into coaching the swim team. That's who he is, committed to his craft, not to winning. See, the way Art sees it, winning is a byproduct but you don't need to focus on it because it's conditional on your talent. And the real goal is to convert and maximize one's own ability. One of the things I think a coach always wants to do is he wants his individuals and his team to fulfill their potential. And so if you have the potential to win, then you win. And, and what's important is in the years you don't have the potential to win, you. Just you accomplish just as much to whatever place you get. Uh, so if you fulfill your potential and you've got that ability, you're going to win. So winning just happens or doesn't happen. Maybe that's why it's still so much fun. Okay, you did good. Let's do the hundred breaststroke, four length breaststroke. You, you can do it. Just get in there and just swim a little breaststroke right now. I'll watch it. Okay. He doesn't want it to be a bad experience for you at all. He is really key on making sure that everyone is enjoying swimming as much as possible. That's not easy, but it is the goal. And the goal produces the energy that creates the longevity and keeps one coming back to what can look repetitious. I think definitely your adrenaline kicks in a little bit when you walk in the door. <laughs> yeah. yeah, definitely. Do kids keep you young? Yeah, very, that's a very true statement. Yeah, very true statement. We think they became better men for it, our oldest son, uh, when he needed to write a college essay about a about a uh, inspirational person in his life that he admired, he wrote about Art Downey and some of uh, Art Downey's classic sayings. So uh, one of his sayings is uh, when the kids would leave the, the building after practice and they wouldn't have a, a stocking cap on or a cap on, he'd say a head with nothing on it is a head with nothing in it. He's done it that way and they keep coming back to support their coach. There's a constant flow of people that come back and talk to him as they get older. And there's one group of guys in the 70s that comes to a meet every year, about a dozen of them, they come and come to a meet. And so uh, yeah, that's, that's one of the real, real blessings, is, is you have that contact across the generations. He's now coached three generations. If there has been a mission statement, it's been consistent. Yeah, he cares about the kids, not just swimming, but about being good people, and his number one thing is about being a gentleman. What does he tell you about that? Uh, it tells you that it's more important than swimming, more important than school, more important than anything you do is about being being a good gentleman and making uh, making Edina proud. I'm putting him in 100 breasts. He's got he, he's got he's got a dead breast though. 
One might think this could cause a man to lose faith in the next millennium. That the values are not what they used to be. Don't try selling that to Art. Just ask him if kids have changed. No. But when I first started teaching, a veteran teacher told me, kids never change, just the names. And uh, that's basically true. Kids are great. That's why he's won, raised a family, and keeps coming back. Because here, it all makes sense. He is such a well-rounded man, and he encourages all aspects of these kids. Try your hardest, do your best, and have balance in your life. I think it's one of the key points why a lot of people like to join our swim team, because they see that this guy's been around for like an extremely long time, and he knows what he's doing. And he's got a lot of state championships under his belt, and it's just really fun to swim under him. He's a really nice guy. See, this is what he was supposed to do even before he knew he was supposed to do it, to end up in this place. And that's okay, because the purpose-driven life has been a life well-lived. I don't think of myself as being any older than I was 60 years ago when I was with him. You know, yeah, they, they, they're, they're a blessing. Life to the Max is brought to you by LifeTouch, photography for a lifetime.